Dave. 617 now on Daybreak and school districts are busy getting ready to welcome students back to class. And now we've reported about a shortage in school supplies, but there's also another shortage. We're talking about a shortage of bus drivers. Daybreak's Lauren Hall joins us this morning with what schools are doing to get more people behind the wheel. Good morning, Lauren. Hey, good morning, Melissa. Good morning, Pete. In order to have in person school, the students need to be able to get there. And with just a few weeks to go until classes start again, districts are scrambling now to recruit new drivers to cover their routes. For Carol Hazlett, driving a school bus has always been a ball. You know, I like to do little um, uh, dance offs and stuff when they're getting off the bus. I like to play music to the kids. This is her ninth year driving in the Niagara Wheatfield School District. It was different coming back with the pandemic because of the masks. Because I really never got to see the kids' faces, and, and that's really important to me to make a connection with the kids. This is a this is a rewarding job. You are always the first person in the morning, the first person in the afternoon that that child sees. Leslie Bukowski is Niagara Wheatfield's Director of Transportation. She says finding drivers has been a challenge for the last few years, so the pandemic labor shortage is just bad timing. They've raised wages from $15 to $20 an hour, but they still have plenty of openings. 10 would be wonderful. <laughs> I mean, if we get three or four, that'll be great, but 10 would be wonderful. Consider that training takes about three to four weeks and it's crunch time to find people before school starts. So what happens if they can't? We use everybody. We use our mechanics, our laborers, everybody. Are you ever out there driving the bus? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and yes. did you start as a bus driver before? Yes, I did. Oh, wow. Yes, I did. And so last year there were days when you did? Oh, or, yeah. yeah. Several days. Okay. Yeah. I'd say probably uh, four out of five days a week. And that's really the norm for many districts across western New York and the country. Coming up in the next half hour of daybreak, we're going to learn about the creative way that Salamanca City Schools has found to make recruiting drivers a little bit more fun and amp up excitement around the profession. I'll see you then, guys. Back over to you. All right.